What does the twin flame connection feel like? What is the energy of the twin flame union? Is it like Cupid piercing your heart? Is it just, you can't stop thinking about this person? Is it just like, bam, you're hit with lightning and it's just so strong. Actually, I have found that it's something very different in myself and my clients. Twin flame energy, while it can feel intense and while there can be like an intense spark, it's not always like that. What twin flame connections often feel like is a sense of coming home, a sense of sovereignty, a sense of really knowing who we are. It can feel very light, it can feel very new, and it can also feel like, wow, that's familiar too. But what I want you to really know is that oftentimes when people are feeling, oh my gosh, it's so strong, I can't stop thinking about this person, they can't, I can't get them out of my mind. That's often coming from an early childhood trauma, a love addiction, an anxious attachment, an insecure attachment. I know I suffered from love addiction for many, many, many years. And I actually healed myself, went through a process. When I actually healed myself and I let go of love addictions, I was able to come home to the sacred space in myself. So what is a twin flame connection? Is your own feminine, sacred feminine, and your own masculine, sacred masculine, coming together at the heart. It is being able to surrender to love, let go and let love, and not need something, but allow it in and to really feel like you can honor and cherish it as well as let it go, let it grow, let it thrive, not crushing it. It's not an addiction. It's not a, I need it. It's not, I can't stop thinking about them. It's more of an excitement. Like, wow, this is full of possibilities. This is heaven on earth. What is next? I'm ready to open to surprises and nourish this, this union. The twin flame connection actually will happen before we get into the sacred union. It happens in our own hearts, in our own selves. We experience this alignment, this self-love, this balance of our own feminine and masculine before we even encounter the person usually. I haven't found that people who are stuck in a lot of self-hatred, who haven't been on a spiritual path, can just jump right into a twin flame union and have that person make them whole and give them all the things they need. It's kind of the opposite. It's become whole as our own whole mate and then allow the mirror to align. So before we even encounter our person, we will cultivate the twin flame connection inside of ourselves, a feeling, an essence, and that will come in in manifestation 3D when we are ready and when it's divinely time. It's by letting go of attachment, not being like, this is what it needs to look like. This is what the connection is. It's really by cultivating this beautiful sacred union with our connection to self and source, and then allowing it to come forth from our fourth chakras in our heart spaces with a beautiful beloved, without judging them for being too young or too old, or this isn't the person, this, this is the person. It's really by being open to the universe and being in that essence of the connection already and seeing, wow, this is the one out of the billions out there that magnetized into my life, my heart and trusting that and allowing yourself to unfold into the journey versus saying, wow, the most passionate connection came in. I can't stop thinking about this person. It must be the one I have to just make sure that they meet all of my needs. That's probably not going to work out. And I know because I had that happen to me, I thought I had my twin flame. It turned out that that was the twin flame initiation, a false twin flame that catapulted me into my personal growth ascension journey. Thank you so much to that false twin flame. I love myself and can share this love with a partner, but it's a very different type of energy. The attachment and addiction is no longer there and it does take work to heal and clear. And that's why I'd love to support you with a complimentary twin flame activation that happens live on the full moon. We use a raw cacao, raw cacao and rose. Cacao is a medicine that opens the fourth chakra that can really help us tap into our intuition. Gather with me and a group of powerful priestesses and perhaps your beloved, your twin flame or your masculine and we will create a powerful ritual. I will give you a twin flame tip. We'll dive in deep on the full moon, releasing old patterns and alchemizing new healthy ones. So you can call in a partner of your highest 
connection and light. I look forward to seeing you there. Click the link below. It's complimentary. Thanks for joining me in this video. Like, subscribe. Namaste. Namaskill.